The Pelican Case of Mystery. Now, I may have glued together some styrofoam to protect the screen a little, but I do think you'll be happy with the way I set up this retro chip tester. I did 3D print with some pretty blue filament, so I have a base that will hold said RCT. There's a little crack here, I just ended up super gluing it, I didn't want to reprint the whole thing. Uh, and then there's this standoff I found that somebody had designed um, to put the screen at a nice angle. Uh, I hot snotted some jumper pins together to make them into a cable. I did the same thing for the SD card, which I glued on the side with some hot snot. Uh, nothing fancy. There is a much better case you can print that looks pretty, but I kind of figured I just would leave this thing barren so I can always get to it and change components out. Uh, this power supply is the uh, better, more expensive one of the three you have to choose from. Uh, the ordering of the kit was not a big deal. It came in very quickly. Um, building it did take some time. Did not take half as long as building the... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, relay computer. I don't know why that escaped my mind for a second there, but that relay computer certainly took way longer to build. But there's the uh, creator's website, uh, 8bit-museum.de. Feel free to order the kit. I would highly recommend it. It's very well documented. Um, great little thing to play with. So I'm going to uh, plug this in and connect it so we can play with it. Now I populated all kinds of things that I'm not going to use on the board. I just populated all the things that could be populated. Uh, in fact, I even populated the components down below the daughter board here for power, which you don't need to do. Um, so I I just kind of did the full build so I could play with it in all of its varying uh, flavors. So let's talk about running this thing and uh, do some testing. So what I had laying on the bench from a uh, previous experiment, I had some uh, 7406s and uh, got a chip mounted in here. And and that's there it is testing a chip. It's pretty speedy. So you can see active and VCC when power's on, and uh, that's it. I mean, it's very, very easy to use. Uh, so the unit itself, I mean, it's pretty intuitive. It's not hard to get around. It has a, a pretty awesome self-test built in as well. Um, let me see if I can get to that menu, because it's been a hot minute since I've been all the way at the top menu there. Uh, this is an older version of the firmware. There is a newer version that was just sent out. Um, I haven't bothered to reflash it, but uh, literally just recently sent out. Let's see, there it is, service, search, info, self-test. So the first time I ran this, I had a couple errors, uh, partially because I'm a dork, but uh, I had forgotten to solder a single diode on back in here. Uh, somehow? Oops. Uh, so that, that made it mad. And then uh, also, I think I forgot one of the jumpers. Either way, the self-test is great because it, you know, allowed me to actually make sure that things were happy. And you can see when it runs, you got the active light flashing and VCC. So like it's checking all the paths. It seems like it works quite well. Um, anyhow, uh, this power supply is great. I'm using a uh, wall wart that is a 5 volt for a um, uh, PoE phone. However... I will also show, I found one uh, that was UL listed, it took an eternity to order, uh, but I'd highly recommend this guy. Great little power supply if you're wanting a decent power supply. Um, I wanted to get a Meanwell power supply, I was looking for something that was truly UL, not Chinese fake UL. Um, this is a great power supply, I'd highly recommend it. Well, anything Meanwell generally is a decent power supply, but uh, you can grab this from any electronic supplier, and actually they were for sale on Amazon, but again, things from Amazon can be a bit suspect, so uh, your mileage may vary. Let me show you the connectors. If this looks a lot like the box that an EVGA graphics card comes in, that's because it is. So, um, took out the top foam and used the bottom foam, foam <laughs> to push in the various components. I built everything. Uh, when I sent a message to the board's creator, I was like... Uh, I'd like to order everything you've got. Uh, you will notice that there are some other boards I don't have. I didn't use Gerber files to go build stuff. He does have some other designs out, but uh, I was surprised. I honestly thought like this 30-pin SIM connector was going to be one of the harder things to find. Uh, <laughs> in his documentation, he sends you suppliers, and sure enough, uh, this stuff's still in stock. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I used all the part numbers. He had several AliExpress links um, <laughs> for these... I 
I have no idea. These you have to order in bulk, so I have a ton of these left over, which I'll probably never use, uh, along with these cartridge adapters, which are hilariously old. Um, but it was fun to build, right? So it was a project to build. So some people build Legos, I build boards. Um, there's the other two power supply boards you can use. So uh, you would not need to order and build all of these in general, right? This is just a bit excessive. But anyhow, it's very pretty. Uh, went together very well. So there are other videos online showing how a lot of this gets used. I have a passing interest in older, and I mean like older, um, 8 and 16-bit systems. So not as likely to be used by me. Uh, ironically enough, this is more of an exercise, and I just wanted a big fancy Lego kit to build, and this seemed like a good project. Uh, had a great time with it. It was awesome, and I'm sure I'll be using it for testing some logic ICs, which is something much more likely for me to deal with, but, uh, <laughs> you know, when I run across an old cart that works on one of these, or an, a really small sim, you know, on an older system, there we go. I've got the components to test it. Uh, aside from that, though, uh, if you don't have a legitimate uh, need for building this, I would I would implore you to think about the fact that a Lego kit these days, this seeks how much stupid expensive they've gotten, um, you know, depending on the size, would cost as much as one of these fully built out. And I would argue this provides you more satisfaction and actually has a functional purpose, unlike a bunch of worthless plastic. So, anyhow, there you go. And you can say goodbye to it as I put it inside of its little home. I glued together some of the stuff the video card came with, and it kind of sits right here behind the screen and keeps it from wobbling around and moving around too much. So, there you go. Um, nice little Pelican case to hold the Retro Chip Tester. Hope you guys enjoyed.